Uh, yo, somebody wanted me to ask you where where the hose at. The hose. <laughs> um. <laughs> They around, man. I'm sure they around. I, I don't have any in my pocket. Um, I, I, I am, I'm divorced now, but um, it's crazy how life works out. When I was kind of chained on the ball, I was, I was younger too. I was, I go out and I'll meet a bunch of people. And now that I'm older, I'm in my thirties. Um, I'm a lot more mature. And I, I don't know, I'm just mature. If it comes to me, it comes to me. I don't even go looking for it like I used to as a young boy. Um, if it comes, it comes, and, and it's like a bonus. But right now I'm so focused on work and grinding and um, providing for my kids and, and trying to reach that next level just to uh, just to persevere and, and prove a lot of a lot of haters and um, prove a lot of haters wrong, you know? No, I got you. Uh, um, and you know, I know you talked about this a couple times already. So, where, where's your, where's your relationship stance with Lex Luthor at this point? Who that? <laughs> Yo. Okay. Who is? Yeah. All right. All right. So we'll leave that alone if you want to leave that alone. <laughs> I I I ain't gonna say like I think. I'll say this about him, because um, to, well, to be honest, I, 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 I'll, I'll say I'll say this much too. Uh, when I saw your interview, I you I did URL Battle Rap Arena with Norbs, uh-huh. like in 2011. Time, yeah, it was a long time ago. So, you know, you said you you started watching the blogs recently, but Battle Rap it was me and Norbs. We had like four million views on it and stuff, and we did a couple events and stuff. And I, whatever. With that being said, I saw your interview, and you know I've I've worked with Norbs and everybody before. I think a hundred percent. I I know for a fact a hundred percent of what you're saying was true, you know. And yeah. I thought it was a little biased. On yeah, on, definitely. And I, I kind of yeah. uh, the thing about that, um, and I don't really. <laughs> What was I going to say about who? Um, I'll say this. Ever since that shit happened, I literally have not heard or seen anything or any moves or anything that he has been doing. It might be because he blocked me, so that's why I don't ever see him. But um, I don't see anything about him. I don't hear anything about him. I think that, uh, recently I was on a, a Facebook post and he commented, on Dre Dennis's uh, post or something, and I seen his name, and that was the first time that I've like he's kind of entered my mind in several months. Um, it's just because I seen his name, but as far as a relationship with him, I don't really have a relationship with him. Um, he's not a friend of mine. We've never been cool. Um, I was just trying to, you know, give him an opportunity because I felt that. You know, he had a personality. He was funny. It would be cool to bring him to Delaware to battle against E-Mess. Um, You know, I was going to replace him with New Jersey Twerk. And, you know, him and I had a discussion, and I was like, all right, fuck it. Well, I'll, I'll let you keep the what we what we spoke about, the deal that we spoke about, because I was kind of hoping that he would promote better than he was doing, um, and he wasn't, and that's why I was going to replace him with Twerk. But then I was like, fuck it, let me just, you know, leave it the way it was supposed to be. And I did. And he did well. You know, I ain't going to take nothing away from him. I think he did all right. Um, I just just don't like his character. I don't like how he'll lie um, just to get people on his side to believe him about shit. And that's it. But um, as far as, like, talking about him or anything like that, I I try to, like, I I don't think about him. I don't talk about him. Um, He's... I don't want to put any of my energy into him because I know the kind of like he he already showed me like what he's all about, especially with, with the lies that he made, um, real dumb ones too. And you've seen the interviews, so I'm not going to repeat any of the lies, but it's just real dumb. And it's it, I would be mad at myself to take time off of my schedule to give it to something like that that's really it's not worth it. Is there any? Any way that a conversation could be had where you guys could get past this? I mean, I don't think that. I mean, what 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 would we, I don't know what we would have to talk about, um, right? You know, 
there's I don't know what what he would be able to say to me that, that would make me like kind of be like, oh, all right, well, this motherfucker's cool. I, I'll put trust in him, or I'll depend on him, or I'll believe him, or, or I'll take his word for it. I don't think that um there's anything that he could say or do. Even though he didn't say anything real crazy about my kids, he still spoke on my kids for no reason, and that tells me that that even before all this shit happened, there must have been some kind of hate or animosity towards me, um, and and and, did, and whatever gave him the the battery in his back to have the uh, courage to do what he did, you know, and, and even speak on my kids, that's where it kind of, like, put a line there for me. It was like, damn, like, what did my kids have to do with any of this at all? You know, so it just, he just showed me his character, and, uh, you know, if he, can, if he want to talk to me, he could talk to me. I just don't know how, how I would take it, and, um, and... I don't want to lose everything that I've worked for over something that's not worth it, and I don't want to have a bad reaction if somebody puts me in a position that I don't want to be in. Now, now, with Lex jumping out the window doing the the live, which I I think maybe he, like you said, he should give you a phone call first. Uh, do you do you see um, a similarity that with the with the battlers that went on strike? I mean, a couple of them took it back and stuff. Uh, do you think a, f- a few of them just jumped out the window when they just saw numbers? Um, yeah, I'm kind of surprised that a lot of them just you know, did that. I, I kind of seen the numbers on my screen, too, when I got home from whatever event it was. I remember looking at my uh, computer. I was like, it, it, it was it something like yeah. But it wasn't, it wasn't a 53. My number was different, the barcode on my computer. But, um... Well, it was a click. What people didn't understand, it was a click amount. It was how many people were watching, not necessarily right. how many people ordered. Yeah. And not with that, if you get logged out, if somebody uses your passcode, I don't know if this is true, but I heard if you get logged out for whatever reason and then you click back in, well, then it's like you're going, that, that counts as two. It's not yeah. just going to count yeah. one. Yeah, so. I heard the same thing. Yeah. But um, Yeah, sometimes you have to refresh your page. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, so I've I've heard. I don't know this to be fact. I, I know I've had to refresh my page, but well, from everybody what I've heard, did for some of Man of Seven, some Man of Seven, everybody mm-hmm. had a, like a little refresh page moment. Yeah, yeah. but uh, I mean, it's probably similar. Well, I don't know. I don't think it's similar because I think that uh, Lex, you know, he he did hit me up and he told me to take a post down because I was ask I was just trying to expedite the process of getting his battle posted on a URL. That's all I was doing. And when he seen a post that I made, he, he kind of, like, thought I was trying to shop it around to another league, but I was really just trying to, like, put pressure on people to hurry up and post it. Um, and then he's, he, he he had a conversation with somebody that, that made him feel confident. I think that somebody told him, like, yo, man, fuck him, blast him or talk shit on him or do it. I think somebody yeah. kind of encouraged him to do that. And that's why he felt comfortable doing it, and and um because he felt like he was going to have backup or oh so yeah yeah, yeah but you know what though just in, in from my point of view because I remember seeing the post when you did post it mm-hmm. um I don't I don't follow you but I, like people have re- retweeted it as it happens with all of us people retweet shit it all stuff ends up on your timeline when I first saw it I thought similar to what he thought. Uh, not that deep because I, I wasn't in the middle of your bi- business dealing. But the first thing I thought was, oh, shit, I thought that was supposed to be going on the URL. And then, you know, after everything happened with you guys, the only thing that I, I would have thought, in fairness, is just, or well, matter of fact, let me ask you this. Do you think, looking back at it, that maybe you should have had that conversation with him before you made that post? Or you just looked at it as, at this point, it was your business you was dealing with and had less to do with his opinion? Um, I mean, it was probably a little frustration of hitting people up, not getting answers back, people not replying. You texting, you're like, man, what the fuck's up? Well, let me put this post up and see if that gets a reaction. So um, the question is, do you think, if I, if I go back and do it over again, would I check in with him? Um, I don't think. I would check in because I'm kind of glad this happened because he kind of exposed his, his true character to me, and, and I'm glad it happened back then. 
rather than in the future when the stakes are higher, um, when there's a lot more that, that, that could be lost. So I'm glad that it happened when it happened early in the game, and that's it. I wouldn't change anything about it. But, um, you know, when he hit me up, I explained to him very clearly, like, yo, chill, I'm, I'm just going to get on a URL. It's just nobody's answering me. They're not they kind of being ignored. So I'm just trying to, like, you know, put a post up, you know, shake the tree, see what comes out. You know, I'm just, you know, putting a post up. And I explained that to him. So for him to not really be patient or – you know, say whatever he said. You know, there's a little more to it that I'm not going to get into because really it's in the past and it's not worth it. And um, But I do feel like somebody put a battery in his back and, and you know, made him comfortable to say whatever he said. And um, and that's it, you know. It, it didn't slow anything down. It, I don't think about him. And um, that's really it. But as far as that post, when I put it up, I said, yo, what league should what battle should what league should I put this battle on? It was yeah. more like trying to get a reaction, a response from the people that I'm waiting to hear from. And once he heard that out of my mouth, he should have just you know took my word for it. But um, he didn't, and it's cool, and I'm not stressing it. The battle. And, and the funny you part is because um, the, oh, my bad, Jay. You, you could, the funny part is too. Like I I went to see Lex versus uh Ines today too. And, and and your your face is right there on the bottom left. <laughs> so it's like that was another oh. thing. I, I asked the person that did the video if he could minimize it and make it littler. Um, yeah. And it was just a, like it was a headache. The whole fucking process was a headache, and that's why I give a huge amount of respect and props to a URL because I was just trying to do that event to kind of um, get new talent on from Delaware. And then people from yeah. the trust, you know, started doing that, you know, hopping into it. But it was like I would be in a city and people, yo, when you going to bring, give us an opportunity, bring um, Smack down to, to uh, Delaware. And since I couldn't bring Smack, I was like, let me just do this um, combine shit with Norbs and try to get new talent on the PGs. So that's really what it was for. It just, um, you know, it just came with a lot of stress, a lot of unnecessary stress and and um, I would never want to, you know, be a league owner. You, I was going to say, are you done doing events now? Yeah, like I said, that was just um, in the beginning of 2018. I, I've done what I did, and then it was to the point where, all right, I've, I've done enough. To, before I do anything, let me just bring something home to my home state and give these guys an opportunity because they always saying that I'm not giving nobody an opportunity. So I gave everybody an opportunity so they could try to, you know, show their talent, and that was it. It's not like you're going to see an Al Capone Battle League or anything like that. It was just me bringing something to my home state because, um, you know, I just want to give opportunities to the people in my city, that's all.